Hey beautiful people, so it's ready for another video? It's Bella with the Embody Wellness Institute directly from Miami, always sharing tips on how to live a healthy life with purpose, with a pleasurable approach, always finding ways to enjoy and live with authenticity. So in the next couple of episodes, I wanna share with you how simple things that we normally don't consider as healthy or even important could, uh, could be keys to our health and spiritual development. Today's video is gonna be on singing. I don't know if many of you know, but I'm actually a singer as well. Um, I got into study opera um, in my early 20s, but I decided to choose a more normal, quote unquote, and stable career. So I quit singing for about four years. Um, and during that time, I got extremely sick. That was probably one of the worst periods of my life where I had suffered from a lot of different uh, seemingly disconnected symptoms from digestive symptoms to body aches, uh, to foggy head, um, not being able to breathe very well and just feeling really exhausted all the time. Um, that's one of the reasons I started studying, you know, holistic nutrition. I took up fitness, um, a lot of alternative therapies, ended up curing myself with all of these. And of course, it's a combination of factors that contributed to uh, both losing my health and then being able to regain it. But I realized that once I started singing, my energy and health started recovering in some miraculous ways. Uh, so then I went on to study how singing and the vibrations that are associated with it contribute to our health. And I discovered that it has uh, very scientific uh, proofs to the validity of you know singing being a key to our health so i wanted to explain some of these to you so when you sing uh, first of all you're using your deep belly breathing right so you're going to be using your diaphragm here instead of using just your chest muscles to breathe which is what we normally do uh, which allows us to breathe with uh, you know less than 50 percent of our full capacity uh, so you're going to be using your diaphragm and that uh, creates that deep belly breathing, which is extremely important to our health and well-being. First of all, it reduces stress uh, because it activates your vagus nerve, uh, which activates our parasympathetic response, meaning it uh, turns your stress reaction off. It turns your you know, flight, a fight or flight response off so you can relax and that's when your body is in full healing. So as you're singing and breathing deeply, you're actually activating your relaxation inner muscle. A lot. So breathing is one of the ways. Um, the other thing is that when you're actually moving your stomach again while singing, you know, you're going to be using the diaphragm, that produces some contractions and movements in the lower parts of your body. Uh, which are actually keys that you know I recently discovered by studying uh, Taoism and Tantrism that uh, those muscles are actually key to activating our key, our energy flow, the activating the Kundalini inside of us so that the energy could go up. And so if you're consistently breathing with your lower belly and moving your diaphragm and the lower muscles and contracting your muscles there, which singing does naturally, you wouldn't even have to you know, think about it if you're singing, then you, you are naturally activating those muscles and that energy flow uh, while enjoying something really beautiful like singing. Um, dance can do that as well. We'll talk about dance uh, probably next week. But, and then the, the final thing then, and it's, this is kind of on the vanguard of being discovered right now, the vibrational therapies, right? It's being, uh, it's being studied right now as we speak and the vibration that sound produces and that is already well documented and sound healing is extremely healing to us both on again on a, you know reducing stress but also on a very physical level it can heal a lot of different uh, uh, ailments in the body but imagine if you're producing the sound yourself then in reality uh, sound is the only um, uh, is the only sense that it goes into our body directly, right? So it doesn't have to be processed by, uh, you know, the chemicals in our body before it gets perceived. Sound goes directly into our ear and it actually penetrates our, our, our cellular membranes to create a certain frequency and vibration. And 
if it's a good frequency and vibration, then it's extremely healing and, and equil it, 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 it creates equilibrium in your body. It gets rid of uh, all the you know, negative information there. And if you're producing your own sound, you're uh, vibrating that sound inside of you. Uh, so it allows uh, you know, to create the double of the benefits that sound healing would produce. And additionally, I believe it's one of the most powerful self-expressing uh, modalities. So if you're singing, whether you're feeling frustration, you're feeling love or anger or excitement, one of the best ways is through your voice, through your singing, because you, know, you don't have to be a singer to do that. But this expression allows you to move the emotions that a lot of times are stagnated in our body. And this is one of the key issues that we see in our societies that people don't express their emotions and they get translated into physical ailments or mental health problems. So if you're able to move your emotions with your singing, express yourself, then uh, that's another way that you're contributing to your physical health and even spiritual development. So I highly recommend singing try it at home try it in your shower and by the way that's why i'm recording my uh, my video today near the shower here um it doesn't matter you don't have to be a professional singer you just open your mouth engage your lower belly muscles and you sing strumming my pain with his fingers singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly with his song. 